Just that he's kind of salty. Oh, you made it rain at salt? <laughs> okay, rain at salt. Raynat ass butt, if I find you it's acceptable. Yeah, we probably should just stick with Raynat salt, not ass butt. Not taller than you? I mean, he's pretty, I mean, I'm not that tall, so I'm pretty short in person, but like... Uh, it was like not that noticeable, because when I first saw him, uh, we, were going, we were going down on an escalator, and he was in front of me, so then like, he's on a step below. But then, once we got off the escalator, it's like, whoa, he's pretty tall. That, I think that was his first loss with that deck. Nice. Glad I broke his win streak. I've been told by other streamer that Shaman's are the new cancer now because of the Trog. You try some aggro and beat Tempo Mages, Secret Pally, and Warriors all day. Yeah, it's been doing pretty well. Yeah, it could it could just as circuit play says it's kind of a not really like act, but just. Yeah, it gets it gets viewers and people like it, so. Okay. That's fair, just a car for just a car. Hey Dracoon, how's it going? Well met. So it'd probably be Dr. Boom turn. We have Brawl for the Quartermaster, so we're not too worried about uh, Quartermaster combo. And then the tank up really helps us sustain. And he's he's wasted he's wasted both Aldors. Like this is fine for killing dudes. And then we bait out BGH, and we'll see. It's kind of annoying now that we have to also bait out Ultimans. Keeper of Oldemon. Watch out, wait. Why don't you like his mech shaman? I thought you appreciate when people make new unique, deck, unique decks. Well, it's still like a very like cancer style deck. It's very YOLO. It doesn't really have much late game sustain. Which is one style play. It's just it's just a style that I don't really enjoy though. But granted, if you watch the video, it's actually he puts a lot of thought into playing it. Alright, you gotta give him credit for that. Like he actually thinks through his turns. It's not as it's not as straightforward as you may think an aggro deck is. So if you watch the video, you actually you actually see the thought process. So that's one thing I do like. But the average player probably does not think that way. Alright, let's go with Grom. Maybe it baits out equality here. Yeah, I kinda hoping it hit the dude there. Okay, that's right. There's how you know a good a stream is good small. The streamer can do bother to stop and say hi when people come into chat. So nice to see. Yeah, I mean there's definitely streamers that are much bigger than me, but still does a good job greeting people. Like VLPS is really good. He, yeah, I mean call him a mid mid-sized streamer, I guess. He's really good about greeting people. I always get noticed whenever I come into chat. Mackenzie's really good. Um, show brother man show likes to. I get. I don't know if it's because I'm a mod though, maybe he notices me more. So there's one Oldemon. So we have one more Oldemon to bait out. Assuming he plays two. Hey Arnie, welcome to the stream. Again, you you're gonna watch the video. Alright, you guys can watch it. You can't side Raynad, you did occur per perfectly with the Reno deck, and I don't think it's favored by any means versus the deck. Yeah. Like, I did curve out well. I think I'll go with Shield Slam on this. I wonder if you cut Murloc Knights at all. Economy size stream. Just watch the match with Reyna. He doesn't know you personally though, does he? He could call any opponent kid. I don't know if he really remembers my name. 
adorable. Mackenzie doesn't count, she's adorable, not fair to count her. <laughs> she's adorable. Honestly, most players play aggro brainlessly because they've been told it's brainless. Like, it's it's different watching somebody like 6-0 play Face Hunter or like Raynad play the his mech shaman because there's a lot of subtle there's a lot of subtle thought process still. I'd say there's more thought process in playing in playing those decks compared to something like Secret Paladin. I don't think there's as much thought process in Secret Paladin as there is to the to the mech mech shaman. So I think or like combo druid. I think there's less thought process in playing combo druid as well. Is it brawl time? I haven't seen Quartermaster. I want to say Brawl for Quartermaster. I wonder if I should save the Execute as well. Because I can just. I can afford to face tank this if I want to. I still have Reno. Uh, it's basically forces him. It puts pressure on him to actually play, play, uh, quartermaster here because this is like really good quartermaster value already. Otherwise, my death spy is gonna clear off his board. So he may want to take the quartermaster value here. So he'll run the bots in. He'll make dudes and then quartermaster and then we brawl. And then hopefully we get Reno soon. So this this baits out the quartermaster. Falling into our hands. We actually ha even have a good clear if we got revenge. Revenge clears off this. Lock Shadow, did you see Layfler's donation? It came, if it came up, I miss it. No, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, thanks for reminding me though. It's pretty it's pretty embarrassing when I miss uh, donations. Especially after I turned up the volume so high. Igor Howl for 7. No, I want to... As I said, I need to have the Death Spy set up to pressure him. If I didn't have Death Spy, I thought Gore Howl, he's not pressured to actually play Quartermaster there. The fact that I have the Death Spy ready to... That forced him to Quartermaster. Lock Shadow, he was making so many excuses in that video. Yeah. Did he say his favorite bow place is Tenren? Yeah, for the T. Yep. There's literally no thought process in playing Secret Paladin. I hate people who play Secret Paladin with passion. It's just kind of looking for an easy way out, I guess. Mm, we may need to Harrison that. I think I need to Harrison that. Because I need to find. Oh, never mind. I have revenge now. I don't need to Harrison that. If he's playing a double quartermaster version, that's really hard to deal with. Hold the weapon, please. Let me get the three card draw. Okay, thank you. Really need the card draw here. Armor Smith, I guess, is helpful. We just need to draw closer to Reno. Reno, Reno. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. That is annoying, my friend. Would you say this deck is the best it could be? Are you thinking about changing anything? I just made changes today, so we're testing out new changes already. Brand Bronzebeard, Death Lord, um, Iron Dragonaut. I like the changes so far. It's been doing pretty well. Not sure if it's necessary because of the changes, but so far I haven't been upset about the changes I made.
Don't get you finished watching the video. What'd you think, Ian? You missed out on viewer games once because you were new and couldn't get the quiz questions. Have you seen Life Coach play Super Pally? There's definitely skill involved in playing any deck. I haven't seen Life Coach play Super Pally, no. Wow, he plays Blessing of Kings. Crazy. How does he play Uldamon and Blessing of Kings and Shredder? That's a lot of tech. That's a lot of tech, bro. We'll execute this. And I guess I will get Emperor on board. I'll just keep clearing dudes for the weapon. I'm not messing with you. Yen's lock trivia is second to none. She always wins. Yeah, Yen comes up with super good questions. She knows some trivia that I don't even know. I think Reyna was tired. I mean, I never watched him before. He seemed like so burnt out. Yeah, he did. People are wa people who are watching it live. They're like, they're like, wow, that Reyna had eye roll when he played Reno Jackson. <laughs> you know what's really funny it was like at, near the start of the game, somebody donated to Reyna telling him what deck I was playing, which is, I mean, it's kind of. Not, it's not cool per, from the perspective of giving information, but it's kind of cool that people know who I am. So, oh wow, brand bronze beer value. Do we save it for Juggernaut or not? Or do you just take it now? I feel like I just take it now. Hey man, the streets are dumb, man. I'm back. I don't know. It could be my win condition. You know now that Grom is gone. He also hasn't played um, Lay on Hands yet. Maybe let's go to Low Theb. Block out the Lay on Hands. I think I should probably save Bran still. I could have dropped BGH there too. Because we made his Consecration really expensive in quality. He's probably gonna wish he saved that for you, Sarah. Uh, zombie Chow? No. Deathwing. We need Baron now. We need Baron Gadon. Why Iron Dragon not instead of Sylvanas? Because of Bran? Yeah, because of Bran also. Sylvanas is a liability in the Control Warrior matchup because oftentimes it's hard to drop Sylvanas. Like, unless you actually immediately steal, like his Sarah, uh, you don't want to drop Sylvanas on empty board because of Acolyte. Lox Haddo. It's what Lock owns. Yeah, Lox Haddo. You wasn't allowed to. You weren't allowed to purchase me in last trivia because you made most of the questions. Well, I tried to. I tried to put in questions that I made up too. All right, Baron, get on. MVP. MVP like last game, or not last game? Was it last game? I don't know. There's a game where or another Paladin game where Baron get on MVP. I really want to get Iron Juggernaut in here as soon as possible because I want to do the brand Iron Juggernaut before I play Deathwing. So he does play double Uldamon. Pretty crazy. But that means he he has double Aldor, double or BGH, and double Uldamon. And here you use equality. So pretty much I think there's no answer to Deathwing.
Korhal, the dude killer. What is your hat -o? I want to know now. Ask, uh, Kot. Kot knows. You end up with GG Acolyte of Pain. Yeah. In fatigue. Especially when Locke is thinking questions, you don't be like, how come you don't ask what day, the first day you drank boba on stream? And he's like, I don't remember that. Ian's like, I remember not only the exact date, but also hour and minute. <laughs> That's a pretty accurate impression, Killjoy. Lock and Lord, thank you for the warrior deck with Reno. I play, it's nice. I like your name, Lock and Lord. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Did you? Is that your original name? But yeah, glad you like it. We're going to live the zero attack or how dream. You can still, you can still Harrison a zero attack weapon. Come on, please, Iron Juggernaut. Give me the Iron Jugger. 